Hey guys, welcome back to Naturally by Nature. Um, today we are doing some work on harvesting some of our herbs that we have been letting grow for about three years now. Um, so it is time to, it's you know, coming into the fall right now. We just started in with the fall and this is the perfect time to go ahead and start digging up your plants. Um, if they are um, a root based plant that you're after. So today I thought I would show you sort of a process of what I'm going through. Um, harvesting a couple of different root herbs um, but one of them right now that I have with me is my marshmallow plant and so I've been holding on to this one letting it grow for like I said about three years um, and we're after the roots so let me show you yeah <laughs> that crazy Medusa root system going on here so quite the, quite the chore and project to get out of the ground. And so I'll take you over and show you some of the process of that. Um, so basically, once we get this dug up out of the ground, we need to remove the green foliage. So just cutting that off. And then we're gonna need to wash and soak the roots really thoroughly um, using a brush. Um, on the bigger ones, you can kind of scrape them with a carrot scraper uh, just to really get that skin off and then we just chop it up into little pieces put it out with the fan on it let it dry so that way we can preserve it and use it um, throughout the, the coming cold season so if you're wondering why you should even go through this much work um, the marshmallow plant is an absolutely amazing plant to help when you have sore scratchy throats so what you would do is basically just use some of the root soak it in some just room temperature water for about six hours that water is going to get really nice and for lack of better words slimy so it'll be nice and slimy for you um, but that is going to feel really good when you have a scratchy, irritated throat. So you could either put that into a solution with a little bit of honey, um, add a little bit of peppermint oil to it, make it a tea if you want, or you could even spray it on the throat. Make your own natural VIX um, in a sense. So, and you could have as much as you need to. Um, but it's a, So it's a really great herb to help soothe and coat the throat. It's also a good herb to take if you are having any kind of um, digestion issues. So it helps to soothe the lining of the stomach. So say you have any kind of ulcers or, um, you know, just sort of that acid reflux. It's just sort of a nice, smooth coating um, and it helps just line and take that irritation away. So let's take a look um, at, at the fun and games. I'll show you here a little bit more how much I've already got harvested. So, yeah. Sounds like a nice Friday night happening right here. <laughs> yep, that's my life. Welcome to it. So over here, we're digging it up out of the ground. Um, Let's see if I can get the camera situated down to where you can see it. Not my house. Sorry if I'm wiggling around too much for you guys. Let's see here. Maybe I can zoom in. Yay. All right. So let's see. We can dig in right here. Might as well get these little beauties we'll take these with us red clover <laughs> something funny about the red clover is that this plant right here is what got me hooked <laughs> into wanting to study and learn about the herbs so this little guy right here great for purifying the blood um, great for women when they're on their cycle 
I mean, when I started reading about the benefits of the red clover, I was just like, holy cow, all of this medicine is growing around us everywhere for free. So, and it's also really yummy to eat. It kind of tastes like a, a mild carrot. So, we'll go ahead and keep these guys, put them off to the side for now. And, so here we have the stem of an old marshmallow plant. Kind of push this grass back a little bit. Get our shovel. Come out kind of far. Just kind of work your way around, loosening up the soil. Because they send down some really long tap roots. They go all over the place. We'll come down here, take a look. See what we got. I know the soil out here at my place in some places are not very good. So it hasn't been the optimal growing uh, dirt for it. Too much clay and rocks. And this is just a smaller section because I've already gotten off a larger section of it. Looks like we'll need to dig down a little further. I had already gotten a lot off, so that one wasn't really very good. So what we can do is, we've already got a start of a new plant right here. So on some of them, we can just go ahead and trim this off, replant it, and start growing for the next year. Um, but on some of those bigger ones that we have over there, we'll go ahead and um, start getting them cleaned up so we can start making our medicine with it, whether that is gonna be for, um, for tonics or tinctures, you know, whatever it is that we're gonna need it for. So thanks for joining me and you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye.